Welcome to the Lynn Lineup, a program which focuses on events happening right here in the city of Lynn. And here with me today, we have Lisa Wallace, One Community, One Voice, and Peter Capano, Ward 6 Counselor. And we're here today to talk about their event, the first annual Community Day Bash, which is set to happen on September 10th, 10 a.m. start to 2 p.m. This is going to be at the Neptune Street Court area. Uh, it's a great event, and it's a great organization. We're going to talk about it a little bit more in detail. But first and foremost, I'd love to introduce my guests and give them an opportunity to explain who they are and how they're involved with the event. Lisa, let's start with you. Hi, I'm Lisa Wallace. I'm the founder of One Community, One Voice. And we're just a neighborhood organization that takes resources and assesses needs and puts them all together so that you can build stronger communities. Now, you're a very humble person. We talked a little bit before the program about how you're involved and some of the efforts that you've got and the vision that you have for the, for the Ward 6 area and that, that neighborhood itself. So I uh, just want to make aware to our viewership Keep an eye on Lisa, she's doing big things. And uh, this organization, uh, One Community, One Voice, is really doing big things. They've been in existence for about three years now. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more in detail. But I wanna uh, kick it over to my man Pete and uh, have him explain to us how he's involved with the event. Peter. This a few years ago, uh, we met Lisa. I've always wanted to have a, a, an active group in that part of the city. And uh, Lisa's uh, done a tremendous job getting the neighborhoods and residents in that area together. Uh, I think we started out with uh, three or four people at her first meeting a few years ago, and we've had meetings with 40 or 50, and we've had a number of events, dumpster days, uh, neighborhood cleanups. We've been involved with uh, North Shore CDC, Youth Build, and other organizations leading up to this event this Saturday trying to make some improvements in that part of the city, that part of the ward, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. So we talk a lot in the city of Lynn about revitalizing the downtown area. What does Ward 6 mean to actually being able to achieve that? Well, what, what I would like to see is, uh, uh, I, I think I've, I voted for everything that we've done downtown. You know, I, I agree with trying to increase the, the density downtown. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see a couple more restaurants. I've supported all that. But I also would like to see some focus on some of the uh, people that actually live here right now. And, um, and I think the, the adjoining neighborhoods um, uh, offer an opportunity to, to increase the density downtown. I was in Demichi's uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, in, in, the, in the restaurant there for breakfast was three people from South Street and one from Alley Street that actually live right there. So when we think about the, uh, the downtown, I would like to expand that type of thinking to include the adjoining neighborhoods. And I think this is uh, uh, an opportunity for people uh, around the city, especially from the downtown, to come to an adjoining block, couple blocks over and see what's going on. There's some great things happening. Yeah, that's a great point. It's like, why would we go and try to bring uh, residents out of the Boston area, the Marblehead area, the Beverly, or the Salem area, when we have 92,000 residents living right here in the city of Lynn. So really excited to see more coming out of there. Um, so I want to talk to you, Lisa, a little bit about the organization. Um, this event, uh, it's the first annual Community Day Bash. It's set to happen on Saturday, September 10th, 10 a.m. start to 2 p.m. Uh, it's a free event. Uh, you can come on down to Neptune Street Court the area right there, and uh, you can come on down. We're gonna talk a little bit about what's available. But this event, there's a cause attached to it. And you have a really big vision for your organization. Um, one community, one voice. I'd like you to uh, kind of uh, uh, talk about that <laughs> a little bit more. So um, moving to the area that I did, um, the neighborhood was very detached from each other. Nobody knew each other. Um, people lived there for 20 years, and they had neighbors next to them lived there for 10 years. They never said hello to each other. Me coming from an area where the neighborhoods were very close knit, I just didn't feel comfortable not knowing who lived next to me. I have children, um, and I believe in building strong neighborhoods and strong communities that know each other, work together, and starting one community standard. And I noticed that Lynn is such a diverse city that we have like different standards based on where you came from or what ethnicity you are, which it becomes a little messy. You know, living where I live, we're so diverse. I've met so many people from different places I've never even heard of, which is such an unbelievable experience for my kids to have. But again, we still all have to live together. So in doing that, the area that we were in was kind of neglected. We lived on an abandoned railroad part. Um, and there was just a lot of stuff going on there that I don't want my kids around. So. 
I had just started having meetings. I contacted Peter and I said, you know, we got to clean this up. I, I can't raise my kids here. It's dangerous. So we started having meetings and just being able to build with the needs of the neighborhood. So there was a lot of trash, things that people weren't able to toss out because they couldn't either afford it, they didn't know how to get there. So we got a dumpster and we had free dumpster day. As long as you lived in that area and you were throwing something out, you could do that. Um, I believe it was Billy Trahant that helped do that. Yes. Billy Trahant, yeah, helped out with that. Um, it was a great event and people now look forward to that. And then after that, we started looking around at people's homes, raising, kids you want to have a house that they can be proud of and live in we need to teach our kids that community service and where you live is a big deal take pride in that yeah it doesn't matter if you rent own whatever you should love your neighborhood regardless so we just went around and whatever neighbor needed something is siding new stairs we organized with the cdc and youth build and got a whole bunch of other volunteers and we just banged it out. We built a new wall against the railroad because it was kind of dilapidated and falling in. We paved the front of it. We put in new steps, siding, painted, went up and down South Street, landscaped that. Just did a lot of revitalization in the neighborhood. We placed fences that were just destroyed. That It was an eyesore. So right there we raised property values. We gave the area a sense of pride. People want to show off their homes now. And with this event, we have such a booming arts and culture district now in Lynn, but the neighborhoods that are existing are disconnected from that. It just seems like there's nothing to entice them to come to downtown. We're doing so much with building new neighborhoods, but we're forgetting that people here need to be connected with that. So I figured that abandoned railroad track, we could take the downtown businesses, organizations, put them along there, put them right in their backyard, to make programs that they can afford. That will entice them to want to use this route, which will be an amazing route once we can figure it out. They'll be able to go all the way from the South Shore along the Northern Strand, and they'll be able to come up go over near the waterfront, down by Bennett Street to the waterfront, loop around downtown and reconnect. So it's a route, but along that route, we can have dog parks, community parks. We could build a, a stage, have festivals instead of Shakespeare at the park, we'd have Shakespeare at the path. Yeah. It will bring neighborhoods together, programs, and they'll start working hand in hand. The downtown will now have a connection to the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods will now have a need for the downtown area. It works perfectly, in my opinion. So that's I couldn't agree trying. more. I think the I think the idea is definitely something that I haven't heard, uh, and I'm sure a lot of our viewership hasn't heard before. And I think that it's definitely a resource for the community. One, you're connecting a neighborhood um, to an area that we're all trying to revitalize. In order to do that, you got to have participation. Mm -hmm. It takes a village. Um, so you're going out and you're having events like this to raise awareness and bring some some detail about what you guys are trying to do. It's a great vision. Uh, again, I just want to recap. Uh, sep uh, Saturday, September 10th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the first annual Community Day Bash, uh, Neptune Street court area is the venue and um, it's uh, an event that's there and it's being able to help you guys uh, put on uh, your vision so to say mm -hmm. so Pete I want to allude to you we got a little less than a minute in the program and it's a loaded question for you to answer in 60 seconds but what do you think has to happen in order to make this pathway something to come into fruition well it, it's a long-term vision but uh, uh, there's we have the idea that we may be able to to uh, take this land as a nonprofit, you know, that moves the city uh, away from liability. And, and there's a distinction between what we want to do and a bike path itself. For instance, they're building a market basket there. People would be able to walk right, right down to the market basket right. and come back. And also, you know, with the bike, you could conceivably make it over to uh, the, the the gear plant train stop, you know, over at GE, if they made that public, put your bike on a bike rack and then go to Boston and then come back. So it's more of a community path is right. what we're trying to do. And, you know, we're, we're exploring the idea of, of doing that as, as a nonprofit uh, rather than uh, with the city, you know, for uh, liability reasons, you know. So, you know, it's a long-term uh, 
uh, goal, but we, we've been in contact with uh, the state and um, the Congressman Moulton, and there's a lot of interest in it, and there's still a ways to go, but uh, it, we're a lot closer to, to, uh, to making the vision a reality, you know, I, I, and I think, it can, I think it can be done. So you got the ball rolling, yeah. um, now comes in to actually taking on those steps and uh, mm -hmm. accomplishing those. So big things coming out of Ward 6. Um, Want to remind our viewership, go on down Saturday, September 10th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Neptune Street Court area. It's the first annual Community Day Bash. It's going to be an awesome event. There's going to be all kinds of uh, food, raffles, different types of prizes and games, and painting as well. Uh, come on down to this event. Um, it's for a good cause for the city of Lynn. I want to say thank you to my guests, Lisa and Peter, uh, for coming on to the program. That's it for the Lynn lineup from the studio here at Lynn Community Television. I'm Sean Donahue, wishing you all the best.